Fort St. John Mayor Lori Ackerman and Councillor Dan Davies had one last chance Saturday morning to ask local Liberal members for their votes. The two colleagues gave speeches at the Pomeroy Hotel, highlighting why they would be the best fit for the job. Then it was up to the members of the party to decide. Thank you. And a few hours later, the results were in. I'm now pleased to announce the next candidate for Peace River North, Dan Davies. In a somewhat surprising result, Councillor Davies won the nomination over Mayor Ackerman. And to celebrate, Davies and Peace River South MLA Mike Bernier took dual selfies. <laughs> that is so lame. <laughs> it's a big load off the shoulders. Um, you know, it's been a, it's uh, been near two months for the campaign. Uh, of course, with the you know suspending the vote uh, due to the, the tragic fires and such, you know, it just kind of extended that whole thing. So now that it's all over, it's uh, it's a good feeling, certainly being on the winning side. It was the second time Davies and Ackerman have run against each other for the job after losing out to Pat Pym in 2009. It's no different than uh, two people on, on the line during the Olympics. You know, there's no, you know, they're competitors. They, they want to win, but at the end of the day, they're shaking hands and good race. We we're very fortunate. We had two extremely good candidates running for us, and, and uh, ultimately Dan has won. Uh, I think Dan will do very well for us. Davies was introduced before his speech by his wife, Erin. She explained how much Davies cares about the community. I don't take him grocery shopping anymore because I know if I take him to Safeway or no frills, he's in aisle four for an hour talking to somebody about local issues. Davies will stay on as councillor until the next provincial election is called. The election is tentatively scheduled for May 9th, meaning when the writ is dropped in April, Davies will hit the campaign trail and the work will officially begin. Peter Houston, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.